okay so yes finally we are live on youtube so hello good evening everyone uh welcome back to again community live sessions so today we are going to start uh, from today onwards we will be starting few sessions on cyprus okay so we have done couple of sessions on selenium so far we did a uh, little bit session on test and interview preparation but now i want to quickly touch upon few sessions on cyprus that what exactly is cyprus how to write your test cases in cyprus how to run the test cases uh, cyprus tests in different browsers how to get the reports and so on so today will be the first official first day for the cyprus sessions and if you don't know anything about cyprus then don't worry we are going to cover everything from the scratch so let me see couple of chat section and then we'll start so before we start the session i quickly want to uh, check with all of you am i audible properly and can you see my screen as well i just need a quick confirmation so that we can start okay so pramod says i have recently switched to selenium from manual testing should i attend today's video is not see pramod today's session is more about cypress so if you don't have any idea about cypress then i guess you should attend this session because first of all it's completely free it's uh, it will add lot of value in your current profile as well because you are using selenium and cypress is also coming in the same category right so definitely you should uh, watch the today's session at least so that under uh, you will get a clear picture what are the different features cypress provided how it is different from selenium right then you will have a better idea but yeah if you don't have capacity then maybe you need to think but i would highly recommend to attend attend the session not only today's session for the next 3 4 days whatever sessions we will be having on youtube you should attend okay th arun thank you so much for the confirmation so mahesh says online training session will be zoom meeting or google meet so mahesh uh, within 24 hours like we are starting from 16th right so 16 7 pm we are starting so on the same day before 12 hours you will get the link it will be on zoom so you have to check your email whatever email you have registered right you will get the invitation in the same email Nathan says, "What is the difference between Selenium and Cypress?" I will talk about that. Arun says, "I have enrolled for the Cypress course. How this community session and that training will be different?" So, Arun, if you have already enrolled for the courses, then, anyways, you will get to know so many things in depth, right? We will be starting from JavaScript. Now, this is just a quick, uh, I will say, three four session on Cypress, so that others, those who are moving from Selenium or from any other tool, they will get idea about Cypress. but these 3 4 days are not enough to learn end to end cypress right obviously it's a very big and uh, i will say many things are added in the cypress part so 3 4 days are not enough to cover everything from cypress so the course that you have enrolled that has cypress playwright and web driver io uh, from the scratch till then but this is just introduction session and i will say basics one okay so uh, thank you so much for the confirmation Sushil says, "Is Cypress help for an API testing?" To yes, Sushil, you can do API testing using Cypress. And those who are planning to uh, attend the live session that I'm starting from 16th of July, so I'm giving you the link in the chat box. You can go ahead and check the course content, and you can register. So we will be starting this uh, with Cypress 10, which is the latest version. Okay so yes i guess many people have joined already so let's continue now this is a very common question that will come in the chat box that what is the difference between selenium and cypress and trust me it's totally different okay the only thing which they have is they fall into the same category that they can automate your web applications but altogether they have different features and complete different architecture altogether so before i start Uh, about cypress i want to listen from all of you that how many of you are using cypress right now in your current project or how many of you are 
having this proposal that you have to learn Cypress and you will be implementing in the new project or you are getting nowadays Cypress in the job description as well. So how many of you first tell me that you are getting a chance to work with Cypress or in future you will get a project on Cypress. And apart from that, I want to listen from all of you that how many of you have no idea about Cypress. Let me know in the chat section based on that. I will get one idea about the audience that I have based on that we can have further sessions. Okay, there are a couple of myths about Cypress that also I will highlight in the session. So let me know in the chat section. Others says want to know more about Cypress. Okay, great. So Vital says I'm currently working on Cypress. That's great. Adit saying my project needs Cypress. Okay, that's great. You will have a lot of new things um, after the first session itself. Manoj says I have seen Cypress in so many job descriptions. I want to learn. I have no idea about Cypress. Okay. So even after the first session, we'll get a lot of things. Obviously, those who have no, those who have worked with any other automation tool, they will be having some kind of advantage, uh, but not completely advantage in terms of they can compare that this is what happens in Selenium. This is what is happening in Cypress. They can relate. They can visualize. Okay, this is the difference. But those who are starting from the scratch, they have no they don't have any idea about the any other automation tool for them it will be completely new so obviously once you have knowledge on different tools you can compare but if you don't have any idea about any prob uh, previous i will say automation tools or library that's perfectly fine okay so i can see most of the people have like hardly 10 percent knows cypress 10%, 20%, they have a project demand and remaining a blank about Cypress. Now, there's a very interesting comment from Rajesh. In my project, we have a requirement for Cypress. So I have to learn from you and we'll give a demo to the lead. After that, they will include me in the automation part. So Rajesh, uh, when it comes to the demo part, right? Uh, you can connect with me after the session. Since you were in my last batch, I can give you a couple of inputs for the demo. like. What are the things you need to cover in the demo sessions? Because if you just present the basic login logout, obviously you, it will not add much value. So I would recommend you to write at least four to five unit, uh, sorry, integration test cases along with alert reporting, run them in a headed mode and run them through CI server. That is one end to end demo that you have to provide. Okay, so let's start. Now, what about Cypress? So let's talk about from their official website first, then I will uh, go through this couple of slides that I have prepared for Cypress. Again, let's make this session a little interactive. So if you don't understand anything, if you're not uh, familiar with some keywords that I'm using or something which you don't understand from the slide or from the site, let me know. So this is their official website, which is cypress.io. So if you see the first line, the web has evolved. Finally, testing has to fast, easy, reliable testing for anything that runs in a browser. It means Cypress runs in a browser. So if you have a lot of questions that can we do the desktop automation? No. Can we automate mobile native applications? No, I will talk about that as well. So anything that runs on the browser, Cypress can do that. It does not support certain browsers like uh, Safari and Edge that also I will show you. But so what exactly Cypress? It's a separate tool altogether, which can automate your uh, web applications and Cypress runs within your browser. So most of the traditional tools which you have in the market, right? So uh, you have their library, you have their, I will say the framework or set of APIs, then you have a driver. And this is an application, right? But Cypress runs within your browser and it has the complete control over your application. So it can change the DOM structure. It can change certain events. It can handle a couple of 
uncaught exception and other events which browser triggers and you can play with the browser so it has a complete control now what exactly features it provides so for that let me go through a couple of points which i highlighted so it's a cypress is a next gen front end testing tool built for modern web applications so whatever modern web applications we have let's say react js vue.js which has dynamic controls and i will say the dynamic elements right so when you use selenium because of the sync issues your tests are not stable but cypress playwright and all these new tools which is coming they are having this auto wait feature like if certain elements are not present or not visible or not enabled or not clickable automatically these tools all libraries can handle these kind of issues okay so cypress is one of them which can help you to write stable test it has auto wait enabled which you will get to know in few minutes so with the help of cypress you can write your unit test cases integration test cases end to end test cases with easy configuration proper reporting it has a dashboard service which we will talk about it has a free plus paid both but it has some out of the box features which selenium don't provide at all so when i will show you this comparison between cypress versus selenium we'll get more idea cypress is built on top of node.js okay and it comes as a npm module so if you have worked with selenium then we use npm uh, pom uh, maven dependency right here we have a npm package so you just need to say npm install cypress and that's all cypress will be in your system and you can start using it now when it comes to the feature first of all the most important the main selling point is automated waiting cypress has built in wait for different commands and assertion so no need to add sleep wait in your test now cypress have two different kind of of weights here one is the default weight like for each and every command cypress have some default weight for example a get command that we will see today it has a default i will say automated weight that your element by default each and every element should be enabled should be visible should be clickable it should not be detached from the dom and there are a couple of things these are default i will say before interacting with each and every element once it is done then only it's proceed to the next element so this is only for the uh, web elements even for a page load they have default conditions until these conditions are not true it will not even continue to the next command most important part architecture so selenium use uh, json via protocol right and now w3 standards but cypress works in a totally different architecture it runs within your browser which i will show you probably in day 3 or day 4 i will show you how cypress gets in your like inside your browser and inside your application it runs and this is very impressive uh, feature snapshot cypress actually takes the snapshot of each and every command so let's say if you have 10 steps in the when you see the uh, cypress test runner right after every command you can see what is happening before and after before and after so if something is getting wrong in your application maybe the test is getting failed you can just put mouse over and it will show you what happened before and after you can debug easily okay so debugging uh, one is using snapshot plus you can also add a debug breakpoint and you can do the debugging easily here in cypress so the moment you right click inspect we have this developer options right using developer options you can do the debugging easily screenshot videos now if you talk about any other traditional automation tools we need to write certain piece of code right some statement to capture videos and screenshots here it comes by default for each and every test you can enable this you can disable i will show you through configuration file but it captures the screenshot it also captures the recording and you can disable how, how you want to take this screenshot and videos you just need to run through cli commands automatically videos will be captured and you can play cross browser testing it supports 
uh, support Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Electron. Right now, it does not support I and Safari. So that is also one of the thing which I have added here. So right now, these are the browsers supported: Chrome, stable version, beta version, can release Chromium, Edge, Edge beta, can re dev release. Same goes with Firefox. For Firefox, they have developer options, nightly build, and regular, which is stable version. And Cypress also comes with Electron browser. So by default, when you start running from CLI, it will run all your tests in Electron browser. Fine. So we'll talk about that as well uh, when it comes to the browser part. dashboard servers and parallel execution so this feature is i will say comes in two variations community and the paid so if you want to use dashboard service then it's a paid feature so probably uh, i don't have the paid part here but still i will show you how this dashboard service looks like not in the community session but maybe in the course network request so basically you can um, uh, send the network request you can get the responses you can check the uh, you know response body. You can also check the headers and couple of validations which we do in API, right? You can do everything here in Cypress. Plus, it has spices, stubs, clog, and many more. So again, Cypress has a lot of commands which obviously we will not be able to use all of them. But whatever is required, they have a dedicated uh, documentation, and I will show you how to read the documentation because no one in the complete I will say. Even if you go through online sessions or courses, they can cover each and every command. So you need to spend a lot of time on the documentation as well. Okay, so feature wise, I hope it is clear. Now, which programming language to use for Cypress? JavaScript. So it's supposed JavaScript. And I want to highlight here those who are worried about programming that I don't know JavaScript. I don't know any programming language. Can I learn Cypress? 90. 80 to 90 percent of Cypress you can learn without the knowledge of JavaScript because they were straightforward commands. You can simply put chai assertion library and you can start validating. Remaining 10 20 percent is needed the moment you start implementing page object model, the moment you start creating your own commands, right? In that case, you definitely need. Plus, when you have to write your custom conditions, if else, for loop, that basic is required whenever you have to change some conditions. But even if you don't know, you can still continue with Cypress. 80% to 80 to 90% you can easily cover. But obviously, when you have knowledge, you can tweak the logic and you can build the framework. Yeah, this is the comparison. Again, this is few things I have taken from internet, which a few things which I have observed from my end. So Selenium versus Cypress. Again, I don't think it's a fair comparison because each and every tool have its own advantages and disadvantages. So let me go through one by one and let me know whether you agree with these points or not. Free. Okay, both are free. Uh, Cypress except one dashboard service. This is also completely free. Selenium is free and open source. Community support excellent in Selenium because Selenium has been in the market from a long time. Everybody knows about Selenium. A lot of articles, blogs, YouTube videos you'll find on Selenium. But when it comes to community support for Cypress, it's less obviously because it's not that, I will say, old. So last 3-4 years it has captured a lot of market. But it's a growing community. auto -wait. When I say auto -wait, automatically Selenium will not add any uh, waiting capability. Obviously you can use fluent weight, explicit weight right uh, implicitly wait and you can handle this sync issues but by default cypress take care of this auto wait so it makes your test very stable speed again this is a debatable topic many people say cypress is slow selenium is fast but what i have seen so uh, when you will run your test right you will get to know cypress runs faster because it is running within your browser and it can interact a little fast so I don't think speed is much issue but still I have added this point because uh, we always get this point which one is faster videos selenium don't provide official video recording obviously you can use certain 
libraries which will help you to record these but again a lot of configuration and code that you need to write but with cypress screenshots and videos are by default added headless both can run in the headless mode so not much you in both the framework you just need to add a small flag and you can run in headless mode and headed mode as well documentation this i will vote for cypress cypress has a very rich documentation and you will also agree with me the moment i show you cypress documentation so even if you attend these three four sessions you will be able to continue with cypress by looking at the documentation now tabs or windows selenium has out of box support of tabs and windows but in cypress when it comes to frame handling uh, multi tab switching and multi window switching we have some workarounds okay that you can do that but not out of the box like selenium in cypress let's say if you have one additional pop up okay one is a parent window one additional pop up then with a workaround you can handle that not 100% it still has certain limitations but in selenium it works like anything just three lines of code and you can do that frame part also here we have a very good support of frame handling in cypress again it's a workaround now reporting part yes selenium cypress uh, i totally agree they have a very good report depends which plugin you are using which report you are using but report part they both have i will say they both stand at the same place so if you see the comparison i don't think uh and uh, who is the winner i cannot say right now it's totally depends on your choice now if the client is already using cypress then you have to go with cypress but if you have a liberty that you have to choose one of the automation framework i would recommend write minimum 5 to 6 test cases and 20 test cases using selenium cypress and then you take a call okay now let's continue how to configure so in order to continue we just need node js in our system and we are good to go once node js configured we will be running one npm command cypress will come within a seconds and we will start writing the code in vs code now before cypress what used to happen let's talk about selenium with javascript selenium also support javascript right so if you have to work selenium with javascript what used to happen first of all you need a wrapper right at least one wrapper so that you can continue with selenium so i will say selenium wrapper then you need at least one bdd framework let's say mocha you need one chai library and again some th some third party libraries as well and once you have this library you can start writing your first test but with cypress cypress comes by default with mocha it comes by default with chai library it has some third party libraries inbuilt you just need cypress and you can start writing your test within a second so you can say previously we used to uh, install everything separately but with cypress everything comes as a bundle you install cypress and we are good to go so let me show you how to download and start cypress but before we move ahead any idea about sorry any questions on this like whatever we discuss right now any doubt any questions So others says, is there any language barrier for Cypress? So others I have mentioned, right, uh, that it supports as of now JavaScript. So 80 to 90 percent you can still continue without JavaScript. But if you want to write very good, I will say stable uh, test with framework, I would recommend learn JavaScript. It takes hardly few hours. I already have more than 20 videos on that. You can go ahead. So JavaScript, then Cypress. any limitations so mahesh i mentioned the limitations already right that uh, for tab switching uh, frame handling uh, we have little work around out of the box it does not support even if you go through the official documentation i will so show you how to read the documentation whatever q and a that you have right everything already covered still growing but uh, for frame they have now plugin already 
but that is also sometimes does not work when you have a nested frame Nitin says, do you have uh, your course on YouTube? Not yet, uh, Nitin. I'm recording sessions parallelly. Maybe uh, end of this July, uh, the course will be available. Uh, there's very uh, good comment by Kish. Mukesh, Pranam, Aapko, thank you for everything. Please keep ring. Thank you so much, Kish. And uh, thank you so much for your lovely comment. Okay, is uh, Manoj says, is Cyper, uh, Cypress interrelated with Docker? See, uh, no Manoj, Docker is just a container, right? It's a container te uh, technology. So you can run your test cases, whether it's a Selenium test, Cypress test, Playwright test, WebDriver test on the container. So obviously, uh, we have relation that you will run your test on the Docker container. And it's out of the box, you can do within few commands. Arjit says, Mukesh, the handling of the pop-up makes me little worried. Does it mean it cannot handle alert pop-up ETS? See, Arjit, uh, let me give an example. So when you log in using, let's say, Google. So let's say you have one application that the moment you click on login using Google. So Cypress does not support a different origin. So suppose if you're changing from Redbus to Google, it does not allow. This is how the Cypress has been built. So if you click on Facebook login with Facebook, it logs uh, that Facebook pop up concept. This does not support. But if you have multi, let's say your application is opening in a new tab, that we have a workaround. If it is opening in a new window, that also workaround of. But if it is coming like a sign up pop up with different origin, then yes, this is little challenging in Cypress. Hardik says, what's your thoughts on Selenium, uh, sorry, Playwright as compared to Cypress. So Hardik, for that you need to wait because I have a comparison, Selenium with Cypress, Cypress with Playwright, Playwright with Webdriver IO, then comparison between all of them. Since we have not discussed about uh, Playwright, then it means right, it's not a right time to discuss the comparison between Cypress and Playwright. Sorry, two more questions, then we'll continue with the installation part. Hardik says for pages uh, such as React, Next, uh, which is the tool we should prefer, which is good with uh, Cucumber, Jenkins integration, Selenium, WebDriver, Cypress, Playwright. So uh, Hardik, when you have this React application, okay, uh, so let's say your developers are already using JavaScript, right? So they can also start writing unit test cases using Cypress. So that's how the concept actually came. Initially, Cypress was built for the developers that they can write your, they can write their code, they can write their unit test cases parallelly, and they can continue. But now we are using Cypress for end-to-end -end test cases as well. So again, we don't have this restriction. You can continue with Selenium, you can continue with uh, Cypress as well. The only thing is dynamic elements the sync issues okay if you have a lot of dynamic elements obviously cypress will uh, will say save your time which you will get to know within 30 minutes the moment i will start writing my first step okay now let's continue so how to download node.js let me See guys, I already have Node.js, uh, so I will not be able to install because I might have to restart. So just type Node.js. So Node.js is JavaScript runtime, uh, which is built on V8. So in order to continue, you just need Node.js in your system, which is JavaScript runtime engine. So if you are coming from Java background, then we have a JRE, right? Java runtime environment. Here we have node.js which is runtime environment for javascript now it's very easy for mac and windows both in mac it will download a dmg file 
just double click on it install that's all you don't need to set any path automatically it goes to usr local and you will find npm you don't need to set the path externally at this moment same goes with windows in windows if you click on uh, node.js double click install it will go to your program files node.js folder and automatically in windows it will set the environment variable as well no need to additional environment settings at least for the installation part once it is done you just need to start a terminal i'm a starting terminal for mac but for windows it will be command prompt you just type node space hyphen v which is node version at the time of this live session we have 16.15.1 in later stage you might have a different version which is completely fine then we have like node just comes with npm which is node package manager which will help you to manage your packages and cypress also will come as a package so once this npm is ready right you can take n number of packages which you want for your test and you can start using it so if you just say npm version it's 8.11.0 in my system latest is 8.12.1 so which is fine you can upgrade this npm version again but 8.11 is also fine if you're getting 8.12.1 please continue no issue with that now let me show you how to install cypress so let me go through this official documentation like official site uh, the moment you go to docs this is the complete documentation very rich documentation and it covers a lot of things first of all overview why cypress okay this is what we will do now getting started but i would recommend if you go through the documentation and the main important part is the references okay that anyways it will talk about slowly but in order to continue let's install cypress first now just like uh, with any, any other programming language we need a project right in order to continue so in the same way when you work with javascript you need at least one project so that you can continue so what i will do i will go to my desktop i'm going to create a new folder Okay, let me create a new folder. Let me call this as just a second. I will say Cypress YouTube. Okay, this is my folder. Now let me jump into this folder. I will say CD desktop uh, Cypress youtube so this is my folder and now we are already in this folder now if you come back to the documentation come on now we need to just execute this command npm install cypress hyphen hyphen save de dependency but before that we need a project right so you can see we need to run one command called npm init which is npm initialize so it will create one folder structure it will create one project for you it will have ba basically one package.json file where we will have cypress as a dependency if you're coming from selenium background then we have pom.xml right this pom.xml is the file which actually maintains your dependencies it actually runs your test you can do a lot of things using POM. Here we will have same thing with package.json file. But for that we need to have npm init command. So just notice this is my folder. It's completely blank as of now. But the moment I run this command, npm init. Now it will ask me a couple of details. Okay. Now for the time being do not enter anything you if you want you can fill the name like basic details uh package name then it will ask you which command you want to run but as of now i will hit enter versions description no i'm just hitting enter right now test command git repository keywords author licenses now you can see it is giving you the sample this is the package.json file we are creating are you okay with that i will say yes 
and that's all so we have this package.json file and if you open this uh, let's say in VS code this is how your package.json will look like as of now it does not have much information the moment you run this cypress dev dependency you will see one dev dependency section and that will manage all the packages for your particular project as of now we just have one folder one package.json file that's all now if you open this just install this npm install not only for cypress uh, in javascript whenever you have to install anything right you will be using npm install and along with your package name in our case npm install cypress hyphen hyphen save dev dependency now just hit enter and yeah it will take few seconds and yeah see i already have in my system so it, it took hardly few seconds but when you do first time in your system it might take a couple of minutes because it downloads so many node modules in my case it took very less time and we have now node modules with us all these node modules are coming along with cypress so obviously we have a cypress right then you can see we have a lot of different modules which we will be using on the fly you don't need to change anything but this is the main node modules folder you will get along with that we have packet or json file and now <clears throat> let's continue with our code now it is giving a lot of things like if you want to go with the direct uh, direct installation of cypress as a package you can do that but i would highly recommend go with npm fine now cypress is ready now how like it's downloaded but how to start cypress for that also they have a dedicated command so opening an app you just need to run one command called npx cypress open and automatically it will start your cypress test runner don't worry i will give you all this command in the description or maybe in the first comment box you will get all of this and here we go the moment i enter npx cypress open you will see this cypress a uh, window where you have two options end to end testing and component testing and from here we will start okay now what is uh, like two different options so initially cypress used to support only uh, you know end-to-end -end test now for the developers they have added the component testing as well still it is in the beta but if you have uh, this is mainly for developers they actually have a lot of components right so if they have created one component they want to test it they can do the component testing also still in beta but it is possible at the time of this session we have 10.3.0 but obviously once you move ahead we will get multiple releases so go ahead with the new version small disclaimer if you are using cypress 9 or below you will see a different ui altogether this is little different after cypress 10 they have changed the folder structure the file extensions the test runner part a lot of changes but before cypress 9 you will find a different ui so please make sure you update to the latest one and then continue now let's start with e2e e, end to end testing now see the most important part here if you're coming from selenium or let's say any other framework then we take care of creating the configuration file we take care of how to load the data from different files how to maintain the global settings right with cypress it's coming by default the moment you create your first cypress project these four files coming on the fly one is cypress.config.js so whenever you have to make any project related changes let's say you want to change the base url the timeout whether you want screenshot or not you whether you want to give retry whether you want to add fixtures you want to change the location lot of things is available in a form of config.js file anything you want to change just go ahead change this file 
and come back but with selenium and the you need to write your own property file you need to write a logic to read this property file and then use within your test but here on the fly they are giving a configuration file now they have a support package in the support package they also have added e2e.js file so whenever you have to add any uh, plugin or any other required uh, i will say plugins for your test you can just mention inside this e2e.js and this will be loaded before each spec file that you will be creating so if you have 100 spec files so this will load before each spec file a very important command.js file so we generally create our methods right reusable methods in cypress you can do with the help of command.js so let's say i want to create a login that has to be reused across uh, all the test or let's say i have written a custom logic that find a broken link this i want to be used by all the team members or maybe by all the test you can write inside command.js and you can use directly in your test and this is your fixture so in cypress we pass the data through fixtures so you keep your test data in your json file and this json file data you can start using in your cypress test whether you have just one json object nested json object json array nested json array json object with json array or json array with json object or whatever combinations you have you can have your test data in a fixture and directly you can load within your test and continue so if you open each and every file you will see some uh, content obviously that you might not understand at this moment which is perfectly fine we will be making few changes and we are good to go so if you have time please go through open each and every file anyways these files will come in our project okay so let's click on continue now this is asking choose a browser that you want to use for execution right now in my system i have chrome i have a firefox electron comes by default with cypress so even when you will use right you will get uh, edge firefox chrome and electron so depends how many browsers you have installed in the system except i and safari so let me select any browser let me click on chrome and the moment i open this you will see this cypress right and here we can start writing our first cypress test is this clear so far please give me quick confirmation uh, so sanjay also have just sanjay has contributed 200 rupees thank you so much sanjay for continuous support So Shiva is asking, I have a node version 10.24.1, is that okay? Shiva, I would recommend at least node 12 plus you should have. So even if you go to their official documentation, right? They have recommended that minimum this version you should have. So if you go with this. Node.js minimum 12 or 14 10 is actually a little old so 12 or 14 at that at this moment we have 16 so we have a very uh, breaking change not big breaking changes but a lot of changes after 14 so stick to 14 or the latest one akshaya says could you please explain the config part and Rajesh also says configuration file was not okay don't worry about the configuration file because we have not even seen the configuration file so let me go through the cypress test once then I will try to make some changes in the project through this configuration file so configuration file in general terms whenever you want to change anything throughout the project you can change through your config.js file for example I have 100 test cases right in 100 test cases let's say i want to use url obviously if i hard code this url in each and every test tomorrow if url is getting changed i need to modify all my test cases so what we will do in all these test cases this base url i will keep inside config.js file and this reference i will be using in all the tests so this is my configuration file inside configuration i have one 
of the key value pair i will say base url this i will use apart from that whatever properties you have like this right we can mention here and you can use in your test cases so this is just one example but you will get many examples once we start using it okay so i can see people got the idea i can say hardly 10 15 replies what about others guys please participate it gives a lot of uh, motivation to me as well to continue these sessions so please participate in the chat say yes no now this is my cypress now using cypress like this will help you to run your test cases but where exactly you will write the code you need a editor right so here you can maintain how many tests got executed how many files you have what are the uh, configuration files so cypress can maintain this but where you will write the code here we need one editor so you can go with any editor of your choice but the widely used editor for JavaScript is VS Code, right? Visual Studio Code. Very lightweighted, hardly takes seconds to install, and you can start writing your test in VS Code, and it will show you here. But before we move to uh, VS Code, I want to show you this part. Uh, so once you are ready here, it will ask you to create your first spec file. So here in Cypress, not only in Cypress, whenever you talk about uh, even a different uh, framework which supports JavaScript, we call spec file. So it is giving you two options. Either you use the examples that they have created. So if you see, they have created a lot of examples for us. The moment you click on, OK, I got it. It will load all these examples for you and you can start using them. But since we are starting from the scratch, I'm not taking uh, this all got added here. So let me see if we can delete that from here or else we need to delete from the VS code. So this got loaded right now. I will show you how to delete and create a fresh one, but this has the examples ready. So if you see, let's say if I run one Cypress test, okay, this is one of the spec file. It has multiple tests. Can you see to do.cy.js file and just click on this. And just wait for the execution you can see on the right hand side the test got okay it was a very small test but you can see it has actually executed multiple tests and again it has one nested describe block and seven test cases so total six test cases three here and three here if i run it again run once again too fast so these are a couple of examples which they have given uh, so Anyways, we will be using our uh, the first Cypress test and we will see each and every command in detail. But let's say if you want to again run a few more tests here in the spec files, it will load everything. Maybe I want to run this advanced example. See how the test is running. Right. On the left hand side these all are your test cases in the right hand side you can see your application preview how the application is uh, working what is the viewport so you can see the viewport right so all these things are your test cases which we will talk about and in order to see the previous executions this is called dashboard service in cypress where you can see number of uh, tests executed and if any failure you can see why it is Field and so on and these are three different settings so I don't want to confuse you with all these settings but slowly once you move her to Cypress you will understand uh, about these settings most important part is your project settings the main file which I was talking about right config.js file so these are the content of this config file fine so now we got tons of example from Cypress, but now I need my VS code and we will start everything from the scratch. So how to download VS code, just like normal software, uh, just type uh, download visual code 
Visual Studio Code. Okay, I'm using Mac, so for me, um, it will be a different file, but for Windows, exe, double click and continue. So just double click on it and it will start installing VS Code in your system. So once it is installed, I will open Visual Studio Code. Now this is my VS Code getting started guide, which is kind of a welcome window. Now I can import the project, which is nothing but a folder that we created, right? I can use that folder and we can start writing. Let me yeah, minimize this, not minimize, decrease the font size. So if you click on this, it will ask you to either clone a repository. So if you already have a repository, you can clone directly or it is asking, give me the project location or the folder. I will say, go to my desktop. I created this folder, right? Cypress YouTube. And yes, so this is my project and now we can continue. This is the main uh, file, package.json file and this is the main part, which is dev dependency. Okay, so there was some background sound, but yeah, we'll continue with this. Now, in order to continue, see th this dev dependency is important because what whatever packages we will be installing along with this will be coming as a dev dependency. This is the config file right now. It's blank, but we can modify this. Okay, on the fly, whatever changes you need, we can modify here. And what is the key value that you need to set that you will get to know from here whatever cypress runner we have right from the project settings this also i will talk about but later on not this, at this moment so suppose if you want to change the videos folder you can change from here if you don't want this option you want to make it false wait for file changes yes so all can be done from this config file This is the main part, right? E2, this folder got created and basically these are the two folders which we got. So what I will do, I will just select them and I delete, I don't need. If you need example, you can keep it. I don't want to create any confusion. We'll start from the scratch, so I deleted. But all the tests I will be writing in E2, E folder, that is fixed. In case if you want to change, yes, we can do that. But by default, all your Cypress test will go inside E2, E folder. Here we have one fixture file, which is uh, basically example.json file. Here they have given one sample. This is your, your test data. But whatever test data you have, you can write inside this example.json file and you can use it. This is just one JSON file. You can have multiple JSON file. Basically, you can have multiple test data. You don't need to mix up everything in one. Have multiple uh, JSON file and you can load whenever you need the data. In the support, okay. So whenever you have to add any uh, plugin, you will be using this e2.js file. This will get loaded before every test file or spec file. And this is the uh, command.js file we will use for writing any custom command. Maybe I need to create a login method, okay? Or drag and drop, dismiss, visit, anything. Maybe I need to create a visit or uh, Mukesh command. I can do that and I can add inside command.js and I can use it. Fine. Now let me go back spec file again. You will see since I have deleted that folder, right? So again, it is asking, do you want to load the existing file or do you want to create a new empty spec file? If I click here, it will create one spec.cy.js file. This is how the Cypress test uh, will be like whatever your file name dot cy.js. Initially before Cypress 10, like file name dot spec dot js but now dot cy dot js maybe i will write let's say first dot cy dot js 
create a spec file and it's creating and it executed as well but I will come back here and yeah this is my first Cypress test which they have created but what is describe what is it what is CUI what is visit we don't know anything let's build everything from a blank spec file but this is what it will generate if you start using Cypress runner and if you click on create a spec file this will create a dummy one and you can execute but I will delete everything and we'll start now Cypress uses Mocha okay so if you talk about what is Mocha let me talk about this I know in the first session you are learning a lot of new things right Mocha we will be also using child library but consider this as a process uh, anyways I'm I will be explaining them one by one so let me see if I have one slide for Mocha as well just type Mocha JS okay now you can see Mocha is JavaScript test framework which is for which is running on node.js and you can do lot of things using Mocha so obviously it has browser support async support you can include the text uh, exclude the test and so on and they have written the complete guide as well and they have hooks the error functions you can include exclude retry so obviously I will not be using all of them but in order to continue we need at least one describe block now what is describe here again I will try to compare with the tools which you already know so that you can compare in test ng we used to have one java class then we used to write test cases right method 1 method 2 method 3 and so on here describe block will represent one test suite okay describe is a block which will represent a test suite inside describe you can have multiple test cases here it block will represent each and every test case so describe and it they all will come from mocha so cypress comes by default with mocha and chai library we'll talk about chai as well tomorrow but mocha is one of the library that is coming along with cypress so just type describe pair of parenthesis now the first argument here of mocha is the name of your test suite I will say cypress test suite now the second argument is function you can use a function here now here you need JavaScript okay this I agree in order to understand this syntax part if you know JavaScript you can easily understand how to write a function how to write an arrow function how to return a value right so if you know JavaScript you can understand what is happening but if you don't know, understand JavaScript then you might have to remember the syntax that's the only thing but again I don't encourage remembering the syntax right so for this I was saying you should have some knowledge of JavaScript so it takes a function as an argument and now we can continue now in order to represent my test I will be using it block so just type it you can see I'm getting auto suggestions right automatically it's writing uh, my test and how it is happening because I have installed one extension that I will tell you tomorrow so you also can install this two extension and it will give you auto suggestion but as of now I will say it sorry pair of parentheses and I will say my first cypress test again this also takes function as an argument so I will say function pair of parentheses curly bracket open and close spelling mistake yeah this is my first test case so this is my first cy.js and can you see 
it see this is how cypress works the moment you save this file here it will run your test cases automatically every single change even if you just add one space and save this file it will run your test cases here how to disable that also i will show you but this is how it works the moment i created first describe block cypress test suite right this is my test suite i have written my first test even though it's a blank test that's okay but i have written my first cypress test it's coming here it's passed because we don't have any assertion we don't have done anything we have not done anything so obviously it will say pass notice i will just do a copy paste and i will write my second cypress test right now you can see this is not saved right can you see this uh, white circle but the moment i save this file come back here maybe i will show you in this fashion yeah fine let me write third test save this file and here you go it executed the third test case as well so basically describe will represent a test suite here it will represent your test case describe it is coming from mocha which will help you to write your test organize your test you will also see cont uh, specify okay that is again um, i will talk about it tomorrow but stick to describing it what to write inside the test let's see but before that is this clear to everyone whatever we have done so far Manoj is not able to understand the VS Code. Manoj, are you getting the point that why we are using VS Code? Now, Pramod is asking, uh, can we use plugin with Cypress? So, Pramod, uh, please add more thing about your question. Do you mean do you want to automate a browser with plugin, or you are talking about Cypress plugin? In both the cases, answer is yes. so when it comes to uh, loading a test with plugin it has a small trick but yes so shiva describe and it they are coming from mocha so if you put mouse over okay right now it's not showing right after adding Okay, maybe the documentation part I will show you. Or so it's not giving you decision because of the documentation. I will show you how to get the documentation as well. So describe presents a test suite. It represents a test case. Now you can skip a particular test. You can also tell I want to execute only this test case. That is also possible. So for example. I want to skip this particular test, which is first test case. It dot skip. It means I don't want the first test case. Come back here. Just save this. Can you see? The first test is not even getting executed. Second and third is running. On top, you can see two is uh, successful. One is pending. Right? It is not even running. in the same way i can also use it dot only it dot only means suppose i have 10 test cases out of 10 i want to run only one so i will say it dot only and you can see this time only second test kit uh, test case is getting executed the first and the third is, is not running at all okay so just remember it dot skip if you want to skip it dot only if you uh, want to run any specific test okay and what if you just add it okay let's say it and i will say my fourth test i will not write function just a blank it block or 
just eight keyword a pair of parentheses save this let me remove this eight dot only otherwise it will not even execute can you see that if I use it with pair of parentheses if I don't pass any function it considers as a test case but it will not execute it will just say skipped or I will say pending so the first three got executed the last one is not even getting executed Okay, so I don't have much battery, so maybe we have to end this session a little early today. I was planning to cover at least how to write the first Cypress test and how to load the browser, how to interact with web element. And so, yeah, anyways, it's just we, are, we started this. We'll continue for the next three, four days at least. So I would recommend before coming to the second session, install Node.js install VS code, install Cypress, load this and at least execute this first test case, create describe block and it block. Now it is accepting a function, but if you see uh, the auto suggestion comes, it uses an arrow function. So if you don't want to go with this function, you can go with arrow function because ultimately that is a short way. So if you see this kind of syntax, okay where you will see arrow function then don't get confused this this arrow function this unnamed function they both are same so if you see this kind of syntax they do exactly same for this again you need to learn javascript so that is the base basically what is function unnamed function function expressions arrow functions function is an argument callback functions, promises. So Cypress uses all of this. So once you understand JavaScript, it makes your journey a little easy. Yeah. So that's all from my side. Let me talk about the Cypress test, like how to get the auto completion about the Cypress test, because the moment you write CY, you should get the list of auto suggestions, right? How to configure that, we'll see tomorrow. So whatever questions you have from today's video, quickly ask because I'm running from like batteries less. So I have to end the session a little early today. Akshay is asking, Akshay is asking why we're using function argument in it block. What is this? See, that is the Akshay, you, uh, it actually takes a function as an argument. And here you need to write the complete code. Okay, the first argument is actually just a string. But the main thing, well, the main test will get executed through this callback function. So either you go with function or you just use arrow function. This is how the syntax is. Shravan uh, Swami says, Hi Mukesh, we'll be covering full Cypress tutorial by daily sessions. Uh, not daily, but yeah, at least three, four days, I will continue this series so that at least you will get idea how to get started and how to continue. Any doubts so far, guys? Please give me quick information that how was the session? Did you learn anything new? Uh, are you finding it little interesting? Because it it does not follow the standard approach that right? you can see everything is happening on the fly. So how's your experience? What did you learn new from this session? Rahul says a uh, multiple describe block in one spec file. Yes, Rahul, we can do that. So for example, if you have something like this, Cypress test suite two, okay, can you see? You have one test suite, then you have again a separate test suite. Here also you can have multiple test cases. So multiple describe block is possible in one spec file. You can also have a nested describe. For example, uh, let's say I want to have one more describe here. And I will say nested suite 
inside this I want to have one more test is this possible yes my first nested Cypress test see this is to describe block inside the first describe block I have added one more nested suite so nested suite and nested test I generally don't prefer nested suite and nested test I want to make them in a pro proper hierarchical order but if you have like you want to break down like you have one login inside login you have positive test cases negative test cases that is also fine but it's totally up to you Okay, so Rajesh, thank you so much for your contribution. So Rajesh has contributed 100 rupees. So thank you so much, Rajesh. So Priyanka says, I missed the session today. Anyways, I will watch it once the session. Yes, uh, Priyanka, uh, please go through at least the first session because now the next session will be based on installation, like whatever we installed today, configured today will be based on that. So please watch it after the session. My says, uh, yes, Mukesh, because of your session, we got more interest. Thank you so much, uh, Mahesh. It's a nice compliment. Thank you so much. Yes, Nitin, I totally agree that uh, these sessions are missing on Udemy. Uh, but yeah, recording. Let's see how it goes. Manoj says, your way of teaching is simply amazing. Able to. Thank you so much, Manoj. Anyways, Manoj, you will learn the same thing in the course as well, but this will give you more picture so that in the next session you can ask more doubts, right? Uh, Hardik says, is Cypress useful for MP, uh, AMP, React, Next.js, a uh, website which consists of combined page? Yes, Hardik, it supports. Just see the restriction part. If your application is heavily depends on frame, then I don't think it's a good choice. Uh, if you just have simple frames, uh, don't have nested frames, yes, it will work. But if you have multiple frames and this multiple pop-up part, then again, you, we have, as I mentioned, right, we have work around. But it's very compatible with React.js, Next.js, Vue.js, AngularJS. So all the front-end frameworks that we have for JavaScript, it works. Okay, so that's all from my side. Thank you so much uh, for attending the session. Please make sure you do the basic setup what, what, what we did today. And once you're done with the installation part, just let me know in the comment section that done successfully or completed from my end. If you face any issue, I will help you out. Priyanka says, do you have JavaScript complete session? Not complete. Uh, I left the series in the middle, but I will resume soon, but I will give you the link. Just type JavaScript by Mukesh. You will get my series. Uh, it has 12 videos. That is good to start. Uh, so remaining 18 videos will come soon. Okay. So thank you so much. Once again, I will end the live now and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Good night. Bye-bye.